नमस्कार वेलकम टू द पॉडकास्ट ऑफ आई सी आर रिसर्च कॉम्प्लेक्स फॉर एन एच रीजन उमिया मेघालय इन टूडेज एपिसोड वी विल टॉक अबाउट कॉक्सीडियोसिस इन पोल्ट्री इट्स सिम्टम्स ट्रीटमेंट एंड प्रिवेंशन मेजर्स कॉक्सीडाइसिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट डिजीज दैट एफेक्ट्स द पोल्ट्री लेट्स गो हैड एंड लर्न मोर अबाउट दिस डिजीज फ्रॉम आर एक्सपर्ट डॉक्टर मीना दास सीनियर साइंटिस्ट वेटनरी पेरासोटोलॉजी आई सी आर उमियम मैडम वेलकम टू टूडेज एपिसोड थैंक यू So madam could you tell us about what coccidiosis is okay coccidiosis is an intracellular uh, intestinal protozoan parasitic disease caused by different species of aimeria with mortality may occur up to 50 uh, percent and morbidity is sometimes reaching up to 100 percent and uh, this disease uh, usually um, is a major threat to uh, uh, threat to 15 to 50 days old birds So madam how does this disease affects the uh, poultry and how does it cause losses to the farmer Okay coccidiosis in poultry can lead to significant economic losses to the farmers impacting both their profit and health of the flocks so it usually reduces the productivity as well as weight gain because coccidiosis it damages the intestinal lining cause it is and becomes it difficult to absorb the nutrients which causes reduced growth rate then second uh, this uh, it reduces the feed conversion uh, ratio of the birds then uh, high mo- mortality rate is observed as well as treatment and pre- prevention cost madam could you elaborate uh, on the clinical signs and symptoms of this disease okay the common clinical signs and symptoms of coccidiosis coccidiosis are lethargy and depression that is affected birds appear droopy and inactive then uh, birds may huddle with ruffled feathers then uh, there will be reduced feed and water consumption weight loss pale comb and water wattle this uh, wattle no wattle okay. then uh, dehydration then diarrhea uh, with uh, watery as well as uh, mucus dropping sometimes bloods will be also seen in the, the species then uh, reduced growth rate high mortality rate especially in young birds so madam as you have uh, spoken about the clinical symptoms about this disease so could you tell our viewers how can we diagnose or identify uh, this disease in poultry okay so diagnosis of coccidiosis in poultry is based on clinical signs and symptoms as well as post mortem examination then examination of fecal symptoms reveals identification of different aimeria oocysts then uh, lesions of the lesion in the intestine gives uh, the indication of uh, different species of aimeria involved okay. uh, in causing the disease so this was the information about the diagnosis of coccidiosis in poultry now let's hear about its treatment so madam could you briefly tell us about what are the treatment involved in this disease uh yes the treatment of the infected birds can be followed step wise in case of outbreak of coccidiosis therapeutic drugs like amprolium then sulfonamide toltrazuril are preferably administered by a drinking water for 3 uh, to 5 days and withdrawal period may exceed uh, over 14 days then uh, sodium sulfo uh, sulfadimidine uh, 0.2% in drinking water for 3 uh, days orally then sodium sulfo uh, quinoxylin uh, 0.5% in uh, feed for 7 days repeat after 5 days interval orally then uh, amprolium hydrochloride 30 g in 25 liter of water for 5 to 7 days then uh, always remember that uh, to avoid this uh, development of drug resistance you should uh, follow this uh, shuttle program and switching off of drugs okay so madam you have explained about the treatment of this disease in poultry so what our viewers would like to know is that how this uh, disease can be prevented or how can a farmer take a prevention measures to prevent from this disease uh, poultry coccidiosis can be prevented by proactive management the proper hygiene and sanitation then uh, and in certain situation use of vaccines and anticoccidial drugs then uh, key strategies include maintaining strict biosecurity measures then ensuring dry and clean environment in the poultry shed then uh, keep different age group of birds separately then uh, always ensure good ventilation in poultry house then provide a balanced and high quality feed to support the birds immune system then do uh, this uh, litter rotation regularly then uh, regularly clean and disinfect poultry house and equipments to reduce the number of oocysts in the poultry shed as our expert has wonderfully explained about coccidiosis in poultry its symptoms treatment and prevention measures with this i believe our viewers have gained valuable knowledge on this disease madam 
Thank you once again for being with us today. Till we meet again, let's keep our poultry safe and healthy. Thank you.